Hello. Do you have any idea why I pulled you over? In your own driveway. No, no, that's not why at all. Actually, it's because you're uh, you're not wearing an official delete this Fuzzy Walrus Industries t-shirt. Link down in the description below. Or in a card in the corner. And at the end of the video in one of those end screen things. And probably even in the comments section as well. I mean, of course, you want to look at least this good, right? Yeah, yeah, call, call me the call me the fashion police. That's a... That's a good way to get out of this ticket. I, uh, I don't know what to tell you. You're gonna, you're gonna have to fix that and uh, make sure you buy one of my friggin' t-shirts. I'll, I'll let you off with a warning this time, but next time, I'm not gonna be so nice. Just ignore my bright pink shirt and uh, comical sunglasses that I got from Foam Blast. Is it even on that side? Yeah, it is on that side. All right. Anyway, you're good. Welcome back to Fuzzy Walrus Industries. I'm Walcom, and today it's time for Tag Back, the show where every week we take a look at a blaster from the past to see what it can offer us today in the present. And this time! It's something I've wanted to do a video on for quite some time. I thought I would have thrifted one of these blasters by now, and I really hadn't. And I got this one from the Nerf Curator. He sold it to me for a pretty decent price. It's not complete. Uh, rarely are they complete. And quite honestly, even if I was demonstrating it the way it was supposed you can use your imagination, or if you really need to. The only reason I know about this blaster to begin with is from an old video from Boba Lolo. Like, we're talking, like, six years ago, so you can watch that, but I'm here to talk about, really, what this blaster is, when it came out, give you a brief overview, and then talk about what it could be good for, because I think this blaster may be kind of a hidden gem in the rough. This is one of those blasters where it got pretty low reviews when it came out, opinions on it are still pretty mixed, mostly negative. But there's one thing this blaster does that most blasters, I mean, it might even be the, one of the only blasters of its type that does this, that th this blaster does give something that even Captain Xavier could get fully behind. And I'm talking about the Wayne Tech blaster. Uh, the Batman Wayne Tech? I have no idea what this thing was originally called. It's this thing. Just ignore the dart sticking out the front, because originally this came with three different types of ammo. And, uh, good luck ever getting that ammo. Uh, seriously. I've got to talk about this thing because it's an air blaster. It's got a pump. Which is awesome. And it also does something that few blasters do. It deploys. Uh, there we go. It's a transforming air blaster. Really, that's enough. And like, normally there's like a sight thing that pops up here and glows. You can see the LED red. I don't have it. It snapped off. They probably all snap off. Maybe I'll get one in the future, but it's a thing. Just bear with me on this one. But yeah, it's an air blaster. You pump it up a couple of times. Overpressure kicks in. And the thing that makes this interesting is obviously it has four barrels on it. And they're all individually numbered here. What you can't see from there is this little tiny window right here that lets you select which barrel you're going to fire from and it changes with every trigger pull or you can lock it in place to where it will stay on the same barrel every single time this is a really really cool setup now it doesn't have individual air tanks it still has the one air tank but it does have a barrel switching system that's essentially automatic without any kind of rotations or anything like that. It's all just built into the mess of tubing and plastic that encases this thing. But it's a really cool little system. So if I want to, uh, let's say, move on to, let's do barrel three right there because I have these darts sticking up the front of it and then fire it. I get a little shotgun blast and now it's on barrel four. So if I pump it up, 
I can fire it, and it fires another shotgun blast. Originally, this blaster came with like some kind of grappling hook looking dart, big, huge rocket looking thing. It came with a dart that was kind of like split in half and was held together with string. It was a bolo round, essentially. And then two shotgun blasts. And yeah, you could press the little button, you could slide that forward, and now it's stuck on barrel, well, one at the moment, because that's the one it's on. But yeah, and then you can unlock it with that. It's a really cool system. It transforms, it's air powered, it's got multiple barrels and you can lock them or you can switch between them with every shot. It's an amazingly versatile blaster. Apparently it has a tiny air tank. Now, I found one picture of the internals online and uh, I didn't really understand them. That's uh, a little bit of an issue. Apparently it's tiny. I saw something that looked like a pretty decent sized air tank that's supposed to be up here. Apparently that's not it, so it could be one of the things down here. But they're all held together, you know, linked together with tubing and stuff like that, which adds some, you know, reduces the air pressure you could probably get out of one of these things. So, mod-wise, it's not exactly great. And it hasn't really been well remembered. Which sucks. And coming out in 2008, I mean, this thing, I, for a movie tie-in blaster from Mattel, there's a lot to love here. There's a lot of goofy engineering that went into developing this blaster. I mean, they could have just built whatever and slapped Batman logo on it and sold it for billions. But they didn't. They put some effort into making something positively crazy. Cool twist down and lock into place, and then you gotta kinda do that, oh, well, you wanna fold that back in, and do that, and then press the button right here, and it folds back up into a nice compact shape, which I happen to enjoy, but for, you know, like 30 bucks when it came out, and what this blaster does it wasn't anything super great. I mean, back then you could get, you know, big blasts for five bucks that would annihilate any kind of pressure this thing could put out. But that's where my review might change opinions a little bit because I don't know of another blaster that does something like this. And this kind of system with its built-in modularity and the fact that it's a full, I, I have a really nice squarish blaster. I, I would remove this in a heartbeat. In fact, I might. But like this nice square, you just have, and then you're just like, like that. And then you have the, the flashlight that was supposed to come out. It does need to though, just like this. And then have four barrels, which you get four different types of ammo in it. You could rebarrel these for whatever the heck you want. You could have rockets. Not that it would fit really well up there, but you could. Then, of course, you could have Mega Darts, you could have Normal Darts, you could have Stefan Darts, you could have everything you want up here. And then if you're like, oh, I used my rocket, well, I can just lock it on that barrel and put another rocket on it, pump it up and fire it again. And that would work really well. And you know, and then, oh, if you want to switch to a shotgun round, you just switch to the shotgun round. You just pull the trigger a couple of times, and then you're on that, and you pump it up. And you're good to go. There's some hidden use there. I think this may have a future, but it's gonna take the right kind of modder. Because this thing is needlessly complicated inside, as you could probably imagine with the whole switching barrel locking in system. That's not gonna be easy to do anything with. But having that at your disposal, I think is a really, really nifty gimmick that could potentially be very powerful because of course this is an air blaster. So if you wanted to stuff more air power into it, like a bigger tank or something like that, you totally could and get some decent range out of it. And it has all that just built into the blaster. There's not a whole lot you have to do. And that makes this thing a really, really high pick from me if you're willing to put the time and effort into mastering the system. It's a weird blaster. You want to hate it, but it's almost impossible to hate it. This thing ticks all the boxes for me. It's really cool. In fact, if I had this as a secondary to have it on my leg or something like that, just flip it out, 
I don't need to worry about the flashlight or anything coming out. When I do it with that one-handed deployment, usually this stuff does I don't need it to. It doesn't really serve any purpose. The flashlight on it is unreasonably bright for like a nerf flashlight, like, like a toy one. It works really good. The little green LED up here, it does change color when you pull the trigger. It's cool. But the idea of having, like, I could have a shotgun barrel, a single barrel, a mega dart barrel, or a rival barrel, and then a rocket barrel, all on the same blaster. And I can use it, I can use just this one blaster and shoot everything. I don't have to worry about swapping barrels. Don't really have to worry about anything. And that's amazing to me. And I don't know why this blaster hasn't really been explored more. And so... I can give this a really high remark if you're willing to put the time and effort into making it good. And that's gonna be a tall order for a lot of people. But this thing is cool. I really like the, the Wayne Tech Blaster. It's awesome. And if you see one, I would pick it up. And if you're adventurous, I would recommend modding this thing. I may get to that at some point this summer, because I really do like the idea of this blaster. But again, it's pretty complicated, and I only have one of them. I don't exactly want to know that. Let me know what you think about the Wayne Blaster, Wayne Tech Blaster, Batman Blaster, Batman Shotgun thing? No, I already did a Batman Shotgun thing. Let me know what you think about this thing down in the comment section below. I'm really interested to hear some thoughts and ideas on how this could go, and if you've seen any other mods other than the, like, one that's on Nerf Haven. Because that's a few years old. Things have changed. Maybe somebody's willing to visit this in the current year and do something special with it. I'm Walcom. Thank you very much for watching this video. And of course, hope to see you in an entirely different one with a new tag back every week, usually on a Monday. That never gets born. Ever. Never. Oh, you could have like a tank right here. Like a pull, that would be bad.